Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to class 3 maths lesson number 4 multiplication. In this lesson, you are going to learn the concept of multiplication, properties of multiplication, terms used in multiplication, multiplying by 7, 8 and 9, multiplying 3 digit number by a 1 digit number. What is multiplication? Multiplication is one of the four basic cooperation in elementary arithmetic. In that you have learned addition and subtraction. Now going to learn multiplication. After that you will learn division. Multiplication is denoted by the cross symbol X. What is the meaning of this symbol? It means times. Now let us see when do we use multiplication. Here how many flowers are there in this group? 4 plus 3 plus 2 is equal to 9 flowers. Here in this how many flowers are there? 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 9 flowers. What is the difference between this group and this group? Here each group has different number of flowers. We added and found how many are there in all. Here each group has same number of flowers. There are three groups of three flowers. Three groups of three ages. Nine. When each group has the same number of objects, instead of adding them, we can multiply. Here, we can write it as 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Now, let us see one example. Here, how many objects are there? 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. That means there are 4 groups of 2 each are 8. How can we write this as multiplication? 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Here 4 is the number of groups and 2 is the number of objects in each group. 8 is the number of objects in all. Here how many marbles are there? 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 12. How many groups are there? 4 groups of 3 each is 12. How can we write it as a multiplication? 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Here 4 is the number of groups and 3 is the number of marbles in each group. 12 is the number of marbles in all. Okay my dear students, can you tell how to write this as multiplication fact? How many groups are there? 5 groups. How many are there in each group? 2. How many are there in all? 10. Then how do we write it as a multiplication? 5 groups of 2 each are 10. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. From all these examples, what did you understand? Multiplication is the repeated addition of same numbers. What is multiplication? Multiplication is the repeated addition of same numbers. Example 3 plus 3 plus 3. Instead of adding 3 3 times, we can multiply 3 times 3. Another example 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. 
how many times we added four times instead of adding four times we can multiply four by two when do we use multiplication when each group has the same number of object we use multiplication to find out how many are there in all what are the terms used in the multiplication the numbers that are being multiplied are called factors the answer in multiplication is called the product you have learnt the answer in addition is called sum answer in subtraction is called difference and the answer in multiplication is called product here is an example 9 times 7 is equal to 63 9 and 7 are the numbers that are being multiplied they are the factors and 63 is the answer so 63 is the product my dear students now you can see what are the properties of multiplication in addition lesson in subtraction lesson you have learned what are the properties of addition and subtraction in the same way now you are going to see what are the properties of multiplication here is the first property any number multiplied by one is the same number example five groups of one that is five times one is equal to five in the same way one group of five that is one times five is equal to five product of a number and one is the same number next property is zero property when you multiply any number by zero the product is always zero zero times six is zero zero times eight is zero zero times four is zero zero times twelve is zero hundred times zero is zero the product of a number and zero is always zero third property is the order of numbers being multiplied does not matter that means 2 times 6 is 12 2 groups of 6 that is 2 times 6 is 12 it is same as 6 groups of 2 6 times 2 is equal to 12 when you multiply the numbers in any order the product will be same Another example, 3 times 4 is same as 4 times 3. You have to answer these questions based on the topics what you have learned now. Copy this in your notebook. To do any questions in this lesson, you should be thorough with multiplication tables. You have learned multiplication tables of 1 to 10 in class 2. You should revise it daily. Now let us see what is given in your textbook. Multiplying by 7. If you know till multiplication table of 6 very well and you have learned the order property also then it is very easy to write the table of 7 you have to learn only 3 more multiplication facts 7 times 1 you can write using the property number 1 7 times 2 you can write using order property from the table of 2 7 times 3 you can write from the table of 3 using the order property in the same way you can write till 7 times 6 from table of 6. 6 7 are 42. Then you have to learn only 7 groups of 7. Adding 7 7 times. That is 7 7 are 49. Next 7 
plus 7 adding 8 times 8 groups of 7 are 8 times 7 is equal to 56 next 9 groups of 7 are 9 times 7 is equal to 63 here you can build the 7 times table by counting the number of beads 1 times 7 that is 7 2 times 7, 7 plus 7 is 14. In the same way, you can complete this multiplication table of 7 and fill here in your textbook. Exercise 4a. Second question. Complete. 8 weeks is equal to dash days. 1 week, how many days are there? 7 days. 2 weeks, 7 plus 7, 14 days. In the same way, 8 weeks is equal to 8 times 7, it is 56 days. Second question, 9 weeks is equal to dash days. Same way, 9 times 7, it is 63 days. Third question, compare using greater than, less than or equal to. You have to find the answer, then you have to compare it. First, 7 times 7. 7 times 7, 49. 49 or 50, which one is bigger? 50 is bigger. Therefore, you have to put the sign. Mouth should open to bigger number. Next question, 7 times 7. 7 times 7, 49. Then 7 times 2, 7 times 2, 14. Which one is bigger? 49 is big. 0 times 7, it is 0. The other side it is 7. Which one is bigger? 0 or 7 which is bigger? 7 is bigger. Here 7 plus 7, 7 plus 7, 14. 7 times 7. 49. Which one is bigger? 49 is the bigger number. 7 times 1 is 7. 7. Both the sides it is 7. That means both are equal. Now fourth question is multiply 29 by 7. You have learned how to multiply a two digit number by one digit in class 2. Now let us see how to multiply this 29 by 7. To do this question, you should be thorough with the multiplication table of 7. There are two steps. First step is multiply by 1s. Which digit is there in 1s place? 9. Therefore, you have to multiply first 7 by 9. What is the answer? 7 times 9, it is 63. 63 is same as 6 tens and 3 ones. 63 is same as 6 tens and 3 ones. Therefore, you have to write 3 under 1's place and carry over 6 to 10's place. Carry over 6 to 10's place. Then you should multiply 7 with 2. Multiply by 10's. 7 by 2. 7 by 2. 7 twos are 14. Then you have to add this carryover. 14 plus 6 is 20. Answer is 203. Next question, 98 multiplied by 7. Step 1, multiply by 1's. 7 by 8. 7 times 8 is 56. 56 is same as 5 tens and 6 ones. 5 tens and 6 ones. Therefore, you have to write 6 under 1's place and carry, carry here 5. 5 carry to 10's place. Second step is multiply 7 by 9. Multiply by 10 is 7 by 9. 7 by 9 is 63 plus 5. 63 plus 5 is 68. The same way you can complete this question and question number 5a. 
Seven limes are needed to make one jug of lime juice. How many limes are needed to make eight jugs of lime juice? What is given in the question? Seven limes are needed to make one jug of lime juice. What we have to find out? How many limes are needed to make eight jugs of lime juice? One jug of lime juice, seven limes. Two jug of lime juice means seven again seven. Three again seven. Here four jug means one more seven. Like that eight jugs of lime juice. Instead of adding seven eight times, what we have to do? Eight times seven is equal to fifty-six. So last you have to write the statement. Fifty-six limes are needed to make eight jugs of lime lime juice question 5b there are 24 buttons in a packet how many buttons are there in seven such packets one packet 24 buttons what we have to find seven packets how many buttons here 24 buttons again 24 buttons like that you have to add 24 7 times instead of adding 7 times what we can do 24 multiplied by 7 and the answer is 168 there are 168 buttons in 7 such packets the remaining topics will be continued in the next video thank you